Hello everyone, now we are going to discuss the significance of protein binding, especially on absorption. So before getting into the significance, let us briefly discuss what is protein bounding, binding. The phenomena of complex formation of drug with protein molecules is called as protein binding of drugs. And usually the binding of drugs to proteins is generally a reversible process and it involves weak chemical bonds such as hydrogen bonds, hydrophobic bonds, ionic bonds and van der Waals bonds. Now, irreversible drug binding though rare, it arises as a result of covalent binding and it is often responsible for the carcinogenicity and the tissue toxicity of that particular drug. I repeat, irreversible protein binding, drug protein binding which occurs as a result of covalent binding is often responsible for the carcinogenicity and the tissue toxicity of the drug. The example are metabolites of both chloroform and paracetamol they bind covalently with the liver resulting in their so called associated hepatotoxicity. Hence, both chloroform and paracetamol have a toxic effect of hepatotoxicity. Now, coming to the significance of protein binding. In our current video, we will be discussing the effect of protein binding on absorption of drugs. Protein binding has significant account or effect on all these parameters and let us discuss in detail about each of them in separate video. So currently we will be discussing about absorption. Coming to absorption, the absorption equilibrium is attained by the transfer of free drug from the site of administration into the systemic circulation. And when the concentration of the drug in these two compartments becomes equal, that is when the concentration of, of the drug at the site of administration and the systemic circulation becomes equal then equilibrium is attained and once the equilibrium is attained the process stops. This is the regular absorption process. Let us see how protein binding is going to alter the regular absorption process. As we all know drug protein binding is usually a reversible process and as the free drug concentration in the blood decreases the drug protein complex dissociates itself and liberates the free drug and maintains the equilibrium this is the function of protein binding as the free drug concentration in the blood decreases the drug protein complex dissociates itself and liberates the free drug and maintains the equilibrium so, the protein bound complex acts as a temporary depot of the drug or it acts as a storage unit of the drug and it helps to maintain the sink conditions and re-establishes the concentration gradient which is the driving force for drug absorption. This phenomena is particularly useful in the case of ionized drugs which are transported with great difficulty. As we can see here or as we all know any tissue or blood component that has a great affinity for a particular drug it acts as a depot or storage unit for that particular drug. Example is RBC is the storage site for lipophilic drug tetrahydrocannabinol. I repeat RBC is the storage site for lipophilic drug tetrahydrocannabinol. Hence we have discussed the effect of protein binding on absorption. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on biopharmaceutics.